everybody. You know what time it is? Of course you do. You've seen the title of this video. It is BoxyCharm time. It is my August BoxyCharm. I received this just today when I got home from work. So I thought this is a great chance to sit down, set up the camera and crack on into this. I have not seen any spoilers for this box. So this is going to be entirely a surprise to me, which is the way that I like it to be. We got this opened up. I'm gonna put the card out of the way so we can take a look later at what the prices are. But to start with, I'm just gonna start picking things out of the box. To start with, we have got a Smashbox lipstick, which is awesome. This is a B Legendary lipstick. This is in the shade uh, Bombastic. No, Bombastic, that's what it is. Uh, is it going to be the bright pink that it shows on the container? I think that would be not a shade that I normally wear, but that's okay. Uh, here we go, beautiful packaging. And wow, that is a very hot pink. This reminds me of a color that uh, Shan XO would love. It's not necessarily something that is my go-to. I'm not drawn to these colors, but maybe it will look awesome on me. It is a very summery kind of look and maybe I will get a chance to come up with a look that goes with this that is something that I just never would have thought of before but is going to be awesome. I have not tried their Be Legendary lipsticks before so this is great because it gives me a chance to try something entirely new. Interestingly, this is made in Canada. <laughs> Smashbox is not a Canadian company but it's made in Canada so that's Pretty awesome. Okay, so far so good. Let's get into item number two. I see something blue here. What is this? Okay, we've got some House of Lashes lashes. These are very dramatic looking lashes with lots of tufts of lashes going across them. These are handmade with love and they are the style Siren. Uh, these are, as I said, from House of Lashes. I do not necessarily wear lashes regularly just because I don't have the comfort level with them. And there's also a part of me that is a little worried and maybe you can tell me if I'm worrying unnecessarily. There's a part of me that is worried that if I start using a lot of lash glue and a lot of lashes, that it will somehow pull out my regular lashes or make my regular lashes a little more sparse. Maybe you can let me know if that's just totally a rumor. Um, and I think this will give me a chance to do a look with some lashes. These look like an incredibly thin band, which I understand is a good thing, but maybe a little hard for a beginner. Uh, I think that's gonna be fun to play with. Item three, I see there's a box over here on the side. It's a pretty heavy box. This is Bang Beauty, which I don't think I've heard of before. Okay, oh, it's a gel eyeliner. Okay, uh, let me pop this open. I'm hoping it's gonna be a black gel eyeliner. It's one of those containers where there's nothing in the bottom part of it, but let's open this up. Okay, I was hoping it was going to be a black and it's not, it's a brown. Uh, for those of you who watched my which review was it? Vulgar Beauty Gel Black Eyeliner. I really enjoyed using a gel eyeliner a lot more than I expected that I would. Now, I usually go for black, but I have seen some makeup tutorials where people use brown eyeliner and stay away from the harsh black colors, and it really comes out beautiful and soft. So I think that will be a fun thing to play around with, and I also get to research a company that I don't know about which I always find enjoyable. That is item number three. Let's check out item number four. There's another little box over here. Let's go for this. Oh, it's another heavy one. Okay, it's Adesi, which I know I enjoy their products. Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil. Awesome. I think this is actually going to be really good for me. Uh, this is what it looks like here. I don't have any cuticle oil currently, but I am the worst on my hands. Um, people have different nervous tics and the one that I have is if I am nervous or anxious, I sit and I pick at the skin around my thumb. So you can usually tell how stressed I am and you can see there's, well, you don't want to look too closely. It's pretty bad right now um, by the state of the cuticles and the skin <laughs> around my thumbs. So I often think that I should use more cuticle oil and nail oil and maybe that will 
psychologically make me want to pick at my fingers less. It's something I do without even thinking about it. But sometimes if I'm sitting and I'm doing that, my partner will say like, hey, what's bugging you? What's on your mind? And I'm like, what? He's like, you're, you're doing the thing with your thumbs again. So I know it's something I need to try to not do anymore. And I think that possibly by taking better care of my fingers and my cuticles, maybe that will entice me to be a little bit nicer to my thumbs. Okay, I'm excited about that one. Now I think we've got for the, oh, I feel two more items in here. Wow, okay, usually you get five items. Um, this feels maybe a little bit more palette-like. What do we got? It's a Laura Lee Cosmetics palette. This is called Party Animal. Here we go. Whoop, there goes the plastic, and wow, those are colors. I can honestly say that I do not have all of these colors in my collection. So I'm gonna do sort of a little quick swatch of this shimmery purple called Hungover and the blue called Karaoke. Okay, they are decently soft. Those look like pretty intense colors. And I'll just do a back of my hand swatch. Not the best on first impression swatching, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna be great when applied to the eyes. I am not a watcher of Laura Lee, um, just not my cup of tea necessarily. Not that there's anything wrong, I've just never really gotten into watching her. Um, and I think because I don't watch her, like she's not recommended to me or anything like that. So she's just not somebody that I come across. The purple actually has a really pretty blue reflect to it. Um, but that is kind of an awesome palette because it's not your sort of typical colors. They are definitely colors that I do not already have. And that means it's going to be something really fun to play with. Now I'm gonna have like purple and blue hands for the last item that I pull out of the BoxyCharm box. And that is, it feels like masks. It's probably two, okay, three. Wander Beauty, which is awesome. I have really enjoyed and have not yet done a video on the Wander Beauty mascara that I received last month, but uh, spoiler, I'm really enjoying it and I do plan on doing a video. These are Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. Awesome. I am not somebody who has like hugely puffy under eyes or anything like that, but it's awesome that we get three of these in here. And I do know that people say for traveling, for things like that, that these are really nice for depuffing. So I'm definitely going to give these a try and test them out. So we got six full size items this time, which is awesome. Um, it's, they usually say five, so when you get a six, that's really cool. So let's take a little look at here and see what these items are priced at. I will tell you on the back here, there's a coupon for 20% off your next order on smashbox.com using the code BOXY20 and 25% off your next order at Laura Lee Cosmetics using code LLLA Charm25. Uh, so if you're looking at doing orders, you can always use those. So the Laura Lee palette uh, is priced at $19 US. Um, I'd say that's about fair for the, the size and the number of colors and that sort of thing. The House of Lashes lashes range between $9 and $12. Um, lashes always seem expensive to me. Uh, I understand that you can get multiple uses out of them, but it still seems like a lot for, you know, People who tend to wear lashes all the time, it just seems like it would get really expensive. I understand using them for a special occasion. Um, the Smashbox, that's interesting, it says assorted lip products. So I'm assuming some people got different Smashbox products. Uh, it says the MSRP is between 21 and 24 US. It's kind of what you expect with Smashbox. The Wonder Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks are $13. I'm guessing that's for three of them, which seems like a really good price. Bang Beauty Chocolate Eyeliner is $22, and the Adesi Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil is $18. Uh, apparently this box was curated by Laura Lee, so that is interesting. It's called Life of the Party. I would say of all these items, I'm most excited for the eyeshadow palette, the gold eye masks, uh, the cuticle oil, and the eyeliner. The lashes, because I don't use them as much, don't excite me nearly as much, but I can sort of keep them around until I want to play with them, so that's fine. And the Smashbox one, I'm excited to use the lipstick. 
As I said, it's not my normal color, but hey, maybe this will push me to think outside the box a little bit. So that is my BoxyCharm for this month. What are you guys getting? Have you received your boxes? I'm curious as to what the other Smashbox lip products are, and I'm also curious to know what you might like to see me do reviews of, of these products. Let me know all of that in the comments down below. I do respond to every comment that I get, and I believe I am caught up on commenting, so I'm gonna stay on top of it a little bit more. If you enjoy my reviews, this unboxing, maybe spending some more time with me, you can subscribe by clicking on my face. I'll make it pop up right there. You can hit that notification button to know when I am posting and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!